One team from each league. It's the Philadelphia. The Philadelphia. Here's America's pastime. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Washington Nationals. The MLB, only on 2K Sports. In our nation's capital, one of the newer ballparks in Major League Baseball and the home of the Nationals. The star will watch as Adam Dunn. Will they be able to contain that big, powerful bat? With Kruk and Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Hi, everybody. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. Our starting pitcher for Washington as he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. A tough matchup for this right-hander on the mound against this lineup. So he's going to have to really overachieve a bit today and really execute his pitches and elevate the level of his performance to be successful. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, all you ask from your players is to get... You know, the Nationals with a loss last night. And the focus for them, reversing the trend of the first two, try and prevent the sweep against the White Sox. Well, and I know it's still early in June, but this really hasn't been their year just yet. They're last place in their division, and you've just seen all different kinds of ways to lose games. This team has done it. Gloved by Guzman. And so Damon retired. We'll take a quick look positionally on the field. Like this is how the Nationals look. Highlight, Steve, for these fielders. Well, they've got a lot of confidence in Ryan Zimmerman in the field. He's a guy that can handle the hot corner and really make the tough plays and has great reactions down there. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0-1. Let's see if he shows a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game. Hit up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. And through it goes. The hit streak is on. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. But one out and a man on first base. That big single right there gives him a couple outs to work with to see if they can push him across the board. And it's Paul Canerco now. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Conurco now will look to tighten up that zone. He just you're rears out. back and throws this one. A little something extra on it. No chance of putting it on board. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And a runner on, Carlos Quinton will hit. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Well, they went at him yesterday with a pitch that he could drive, and he took advantage of it and oh. took it deep. Slider down at the shoe tops as he dances away. Typically, when you throw one in that far off the plate, you want to go to the outside corner. Let's see if he does it. He deals. You're a out. swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. The throw... Struck him out, and he's still going to make it down to first base. Well, if Gary able to capitalize on this mistake, the catcher's got to keep it in front, knock it down. Couldn't get the out. We'll see how it impacts the outcome of this game. And now an extra out in this inning. Okay, Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Two men on and two men out. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. See if he can't continue what he did last night when he picked up a couple hits. Here it comes. Catcher can't control it. Yeah. 
And that one sails by Gordon Beckham. He catches him napping and strike three. So they pick up no runs, one hit, and strand a couple. And the Nationals getting ready. And doing the pitching, it'll be John Danks. He gets settled in for Chicago. As he gets going into this Washington lineup, John, uh, what's the approach? Well, not many guys this young in their career pitch so many big games, but John Dakes is one of them. He's a dominant pitcher who can be a top-of-the-rotation guy, a 200-inning pitcher. He has a great fastball and a great breaking ball, and he has nothing but a bright future. Low for a ball, 2-0. Well, I'll tell you what, th th this guy's changeup may be one of the best in the game, Gary. I mean, just so deceptive to the hitter. That one gets passed. It'll end up with the backstop, but no damage done. Hoping for a free pass that time, but that fastball's in there. Strike one. You know, as, as a hitter, when you see a changeup like this, Gary, you really almost have to decide, I'm going to look for the fastball or I'm going to look for the changeup. But it's tough to sit on both pitches. Sponsored by Pepsi, a look at Jim Riggleman's starting lineup. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Josh Willingham's a guy that can solidify a lineup. He has the potential to hit the ball out of the ballpark. I tell you what, you make the mistake, he can make you pay. Let's see if he's paying some revenge to some of these pitchers here today. Taken by Guzman, high for a ball. He has hit 239, lifetime off the White Sox. Fastball is cut on and missed that time, two and one. Well, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. That one's drilled to short, and it's caught by Ramirez. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. Any picks here, Steve? Oh, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And it's Ryan Zimmerman at the plate. Danks gets set and delivers. Here's the delivery. Swing and a liner to left. And that'll be the Nationals' first hit. Now Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the run scored, you give yourself a chance to win. Pitch on the way. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Now Dunn will have to be very protective. Well, if you weren't watching last night, you may not know he had two RBIs in that ballgame. And Adam Dunn will swing through that one. That's going to be strike three. And so a good inning for John Danks. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And it'll be the White Sox. And Alex Cerritos to lead off. And right now, top five in runs batted in in the league. Alex Rios. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. That's a strike and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, he's definitely looking for something else right there. That pitch fooled him and he swung early. Nice to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off and uh, one, two count. Wide fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. It's going to be Przinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Hit up the middle. Sanders. Two away. State Farm brings you the teams leading the way offensively over the last ten games. The White Sox number one. The Yankees second, the Twins third, fourth, the Red Sox. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. And Mark Tien up in the top ten in hits. Here's the delivery. Hot shot towards the hole. And that'll put Tien on first. So Jim tell me coming up uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good.
Runner on first, two away. Strike Can't one. wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with a strike. His lifetime average, 287 off Washington. Strike and two. that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, they got a pitch a good drive last night. There's a ball, hit well, a high drive deep into center field. And out of here, a home run, two runs, one swing. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Home run coming with a runner on. That's good for two. Let's see the impact it has on our Pepsi WPA graph. Now, Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Damon swings and misses for strike one. And the home run there, Steve, the pitching's going to have to be very careful now. Well, that's right. Damage control is critical. You don't want this inning to get out of control. And so the scoring came in the second. Second inning sees the first two runs of our ballgame. The White Sox have the lead, two to nothing. It is warm here in Washington as we welcome you back. Or if you're just tuning in. And so Josh Willingham leading it off. Change up just misses. 1 0. Oh. 1 0 now. 1 0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1 0 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. And it's fouled away. On the ground to second. Beckham. That retires Willingham. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. This is the last game against Washington. They'll be traveling tomorrow. Following that, they have to deal with Chipper Jones. The Braves come to town. That's a team that's been really putting it all together lately. That's a three-game series. After that, they kick off a series with the Chicago Cubs, a division rivalry there. A team they rolled over last time out. So a lot of home games on the way. The fans will have a chance see their guys many times over the next couple of weeks and here's Yvonne Rodriguez he's hitting 333 lifetime off John Danks on the ground to first and that's going to be a base hit for Rodriguez a good piece of hitting right there with one out now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first and we've got Maxwell standing in to see what he can do at the plate Danks gets set and delivers first pitch is a change up for a called strike this is why changing speeds is so important for a pitcher you get the hitter off balance even more effective when it's down in the zone line drive that looks like a single Fantastic chance here. Right fielder. Number 34. Looking to capitalize is Elijah Dukes. Hard grounded to short. Up with it now. And there's one. And there's two. A double play. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. The White Sox maintaining their lead. And it's Alexei okay, Ramirez now to lead it off. Shortstop, number 10, Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Oh! Ramirez will foul that one away. Oh, it's and it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. The pitch, a swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. I think the pitcher had him fooled on this one all the way through, John. He wasn't expecting that outside corner delivery. Well, he just pulled the string on that pitch, and that's good, good stuff right there. And it's Paul Canerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. That swung on and a liner here. 
And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. And a runner on Carlos Quinton will hit. He's the league leader in hits. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. On the way. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Here's the delivery. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quinton goes down swinging. At the plate. Well, a nice looking set of pitches that time. He didn't daddle around with the strike zone. Well, nothing wasted. Just three pitches over the plate. Sits him down. First pitch to him. First pitch curveball. Swung out and missed. Going one. Swung on and fouled away. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. The White Sox, two. Washington, nothing. Now we get a look at Jim Riggleman and some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. Danks gets set and delivers. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pick. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. The we hope you can't get enough baseball. There'll be more this Saturday. New York Yankees are roadbound. They find themselves at Dodger Stadium to take on the Dodgers. We hope you'll be there. Things get underway at 10 Eastern. Morgan at the plate. And the National League pitchers have to deal with him with the base pass. He's near the top in steals. And the first pitch. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. I'll tell you, this, this makes the game exciting for me. The strategy that comes into play with a guy like this on the bases means one of the best base dealers around. Swings for a strike on the fastball. It'll be a one-two count. Danks gets set and delivers. Line drive fouled off towards first. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first out. Well, credit the pitcher right there. Good two strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that even if he had made contact. And here's the first one. Hit sharply towards the hole, and that gets the tying run on board. It's time to get it done for Washington right now. Well, you know, Gary, I tell you what, most major league hitters would not even offer that pitch, but this guy's one of those rare guys that absolutely loves that pitch down and in. That's why he got that hit. That pitch is not going to be in there from Danks. 1 0 pitch, fastball, high, 2 and 0. Oh. Well, good movement on the cutter there, but he's got to get the ball down in the zone. He can get hurt with hitters throwing it up there. And he fooled him a bit there. Check swing, but it's a strike, two and two. And it remains two and two. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. And that will bring up Adam Dunn. Well, you would like to see him done it on the first pitch, get that base hit. But if it took a while, it doesn't matter if you're the hitter. As long as that base hit gets put in the column, he is rewarded, and he deserves it. And they've asked for a time out here, and the pitching coach is on his way out to the mound. Well, they've got to be considering a change right here. Time for a little heart-to-heart -heart and get a sense of where this pitcher is.
Three on and one out. Here's the first pitch to Dunn. That pitch is not going to be in there from Danks. They're in a bit of trouble here. They've got to face Adam Dunn with the bases loaded. And Dunn is such a patient hitter at the plate. Great plate discipline. You've got a chance to strike him out, but if you make a mistake, he can crush you. Foul straight back. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And it's through. Dunn brings him home. And they get the tying run home. Boy, the chances they are coming in bunches here for Washington. Two runs in on that hit. That's got to help your chances of winning. Here's our Pepsi WPA graph. And Josh Willingham up. What a great job by this lineup. They have really put the production on here. Uh, Gary, that was a great piece of hitting right there. It allowed them to pull it even here early in the game. Nice response. First pitch was a strike. 0-1 oh, now. And you get a feeling early on this. Swung on, line to right field. That's down. Runner could come home. So the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Well, they need a big out right here, Gary. I mean, they've given up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just, again, to show that they can get them. And it's Yvonne. It swung on and hit by Rodriguez. And another hit. Oh, my. This clinic's just beginning. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Yeah, the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Danks gets set and delivers. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0-1. Well, third inning of this ballgame, Gary, clearly he's run into a little bit of a brick wall and up over 20 pitches right here. Oh, Cutter runs in. Yikes! That just about took his head off. Well, when you try to establish the inside part of the plate, sometimes you hit the batter and he gets his base. That time he doesn't hit him and he sends a message. Over to Canerco. Two down here in the inning. And they score him. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile. He got that one done. And the first pitch. Lined right at the second baseman. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. John Danks laboring for this one. The offense gets to him in the third inning. Gets knocked around for four runs. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. 0 for 1 thus far. Number 51, Alex And he starts Rios out. Now swinging a shot toward second. One away. Now look at the teams leading the way in extra base hits, courtesy of State Farm. Number 1, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. The Blue Jays third. Yankees fourth. And fifth best, the A's. Well, this team clearly not just going up, Gary, to make contact. They're going up to drive the ball. And that's a great approach from an offense that you like to see. And so far, they're doing it the best in the game. Here's a swing and a ball hit high into the air. Deep right field. Way back there. Goodbye. Home run. They trim a bit off that deficit. A solo shot. Only one down. You know, Gary, they're not bunching them together, but that is the second home run they've hit off him in this game. He may be taking a look at a sequence of pitchers right now. Well, they're going to have to get it together with pitcher and catcher. Uh, Gary, they need to continue to score, but already the White Sox have... Swung on, hit. They caught it! Oh, that was headed right for the pitcher. Good, quick reaction. He got it. Pitchers are taught once they release the ball, they become a fielder. He was in good position right there to be able to make the play and help himself. Base is empty and two down. First pitch. Now he swings. Hits this one high in the air. Deep left center field. Gone a home run. And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. Now 
Now, now credit the White Sox the offense White Sox. attacking, Russell trying to Gilbert, do what they can to bring this thing back, evening it up. Gaming. Tie game now. Let's see if they can add on some more runs, Gary. Oh. Damon will foul that one away. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Steve, uh, this kind of home run to tie a game, you get it late, everybody's standing, you were hoping for it. <laughs> you kind of hope, I guess, you're not hoping for it this early, but they got it. Well, but they're showing they can match, you know, swing for swing what the other team's doing, so it can make a big difference. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. And we're all knotted up here in Washington. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Willie Harris now to lead it off. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. That retires Harris. Yeah, we look at these standings in the Eastern Division brought to you by State Farm. All-star break, not far off. First place, the Phillies. Marlins in the second spot. Third place, the Mets. In fourth place, it's the Braves. And the bottom dwellers, the Washington Nationals. Well, unfortunately, another repeat year for the Nationals. And they'd like to pick it up and move up if they can. But they're a little bit of a ways away from being able to do that in the short term. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. High for a ball, 1-1. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. 1-2 pitch coming. Still 1-2. and two. And he fouls off another one. But well, what you're looking for when you're behind in the count is you hope the pitcher makes a mistake. In this case, though, he didn't. He made a great pitch down in the strike zone. But give the hitter credit. He gets up on that bat a little bit, choking up, and keeps it in play to keep the at-bat alive. Back I'm able to pull that one in. And in the batter's box, it's Guzman. Two outs and nobody on. Danks gets set and delivers. Fielded by Ramirez. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. That will bring Ryan Zimmerman up. Well, the pitcher did everything he could right here. He got the ground ball like he wanted, but you see this runner, man, once he left the box, he is flying, and he beats this one out. Here's a swing and a line drive. And in there, three for three ball game. And that will bring up Adam Dunn. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. Two down. Runners at first and second. Danks gets set and delivers. Cutter just missing. 1 0. At the belt, the 1 0. Good cut fastball in there. 1 and 1. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at one and two. And Adam Dunn will swing through that one. That's going to be strike three. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. White Sox four. Nationals four. It'll be batters two through four do up next. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. One of the best batting averages in the league. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. Headed for the middle. Up to the plate. You know okay, something? That was such a great play. That's worth one more look. Well, how about the camera work right there on that one? Canerco. Terrific job, guys, on the camera. And what a play. And here's Paul Canerco. Well, leading the league in home runs. Base is empty with one away. Starts him off swinging at his shoe tops for a strike. That's it fouled wow. by Canerco. Good. 
Here it comes. He got him. That's nine Ks now. A good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? That's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Leading the MLB in batting average. Swings at that breaking ball, but misses. It's 0-1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary. Really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Fly ball, deep left, but it'll end up in the seats foul. Hit hard to second. Harris picks. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning. Three. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. His ball club tied up right now. Lots of baseball to go, though. And he starts Willingham out. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. He deals. Oh! And he leaves that one alone. Josh Willingham showing pretty good patience there, and it evens the count. One and the change up, one and two now. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. And he leaves that one alone. Josh Willingham showing pretty good patience there, and it evens the count. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's a changeup. Down on strikes one out. Five pitches to get the job done. Pretty fine sequence. That was a great sequence of pitches. And as a hitter, you know you, every time you go up there, you want to try to get a hit or at least make the pitcher work. This one here didn't get it done. Cutter misses badly. One and oh. The 1 0 pitch. Rodriguez swings and misses, and the count's now even. He's averaged 298 lifetime against the White Sox. It's hit foul by Rodriguez. And the 1 2 pitch from Danks. Rodriguez fouls off another. And Rodriguez wow. fights off yet another during this A-B. Well, a one and two count that pitch on the outside part of the plate. Borderline pitch, you still don't know if it's going to be a ball or a strike. The last thing you want to do is take that pitch for a called strike three. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And we've got Maxwell standing in to uh, see what he can do at the plate. He bounced out his last time. Two outs, bases empty. First pitch on the way. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Good movement to that cutter, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Well, outstanding movement on the cut fastball, but he left it out over the heart of the plate. He got away with one right there. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And nothing across. And Beckham's in the box. Second baseman, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Now Rodriguez positions himself. Swings, clobbers this one. Deep left center field. Gone! That's a dinger. And a solo home run that breaks the tie. Big clutch homer. Well, they're going to have to get the bullpen warmed up right here, Gary. I mean, they're, they're certainly finding the mistakes, and they're driving a lot of them apart. These hitters have got a timing thing going with him right now. We've got Eddie Guardado out on the mound. The Nash swung on, hit sharply to first. Here's a look at what's now coming up for the Nationals. They wrap up the Chicago series today. 
AJ to stay home for another team series, the Kansas City Royals. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And it's a road trip to take on the Orioles and a fan favorite there, Brian Roberts. Team that's really playing well lately. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. And that's a strike. A.J. Pierzynski now behind in the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Swing and a miss on the slider. One out. A textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at bat. And in the batter's box, it's Tian. The first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. The pitch. This one swung on and driven hard. It's off the wall on a hop. And is Rios heading home? And he will score. Great base running. Now batting. And the White the Sox, they White just Sox. keep rolling. Hitter, number 27, Jim nice piece Stone. of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. Sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. He was going to wail. Uh, that swung on, line towards the gap in left center. As he drops back and puts it away. And he holds the runner at second. Now, now the batting. lineups who are the it's hardest outs. Highest on base percentage the last 10 games. It's brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. The Twins third. The Orioles fourth. And it's the Red Sox. A shot up the middle. And another. Wow, that hitting coach is smiling. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. What a great opportunity for Alexi Ramirez to show what he's made of and to come up big for his teammates. Only a couple tries going one for two lifetime against Eddie Guardado. A swing and a miss. Ramirez strike one. Well I tell you what for two seam fastball he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Pitch on the way. A smash to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up a couple to break the tie. The White Sox leading now. They've got the Dukes the at the plate. 0 for 2 thus far. Fielder, number 34, Elijah. Now here's the Duke. first one. Oh. 1 0 on the way. One and, one. and Elijah Dukes with a swing and a miss for a strike. That'll even up the count. The 1 1 pitch. Oh. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. Two one on the way. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. And late in the first half of the season now, here's how the race is shaping up in the Central Division. We see it on our State Farm standings board. It's the White Sox in first. Twins in the second spot. In third place, it's the Royals. Tigers in fourth place. And down at the bottom, the Cleveland Indians. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making us all look silly. Here's the delivery. Keeps it down that time, 0-2. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Good cutter there, but it's 1-2 and two now. Well, he's, he's over the 80 pitch mark right now at this point in the game. And you know that pitching coach is keeping a close eye on him to see if he tires. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. He takes this 1-2 pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Morgan at the plate. He's the top ten in stolen bases for the league. One out man on first. Here's the first pitch. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Ready with a 1-0. And he looks at a fastball in there. 1-1. One one. 
The guy that gets them going offensively, he can move on the bases and Whoa. seems to find a way to get in scoring position. That one's on the ground, but he gets it in front of him. Now the 2 1. Hit sharply towards the hole. Over to second for one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Well, quick release by the third baseman. They get the lead runner at second, just not able to turn the double play. And the first pitch. Swing and a rocket towards short. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. And Paul Caderco to lead it off. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Paul Caderco. Now the first pitch. Swings a little early that time, 0-1. Eddie Guardado now ahead on the count, 0-2. Look for the pitcher to try to expand the strike zone here. The hitter has to swing at anything close. Down on strikes there, a nice piece of pitching work. Well, I made that one look easy, huh? I mean, look at three pitches and a strikeout. Swing and a line drive down the left field line. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. Now up to the plate. Take the risk, and sometimes it pays off, and it does there. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a risk. There's no question about it. He got in safely, but I have to consider whether it's a risk worth taking. Here is the opportunity for the youngster Gordon Beckham. A great opportunity for him and the Sox. That's a foul ball. I think he caught that thing. That was a rocket. Unbelievable. You look uh, for somebody to be injured on a play like that. Instead, you got, got a guy who caught the ball. That's why they're all patting him on the back, because he saved their lives. And here's the pitch. You're and that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. Now Chicago we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in KK. Alex Rios has been in these situations before and got the job done. Let's see if he can get it done again. Four career at bats, he's come away empty-handed against Eddie Guardado. Swings at that fastball and misses, 0-1. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. That's hit foul by Rios. Change up got him and the side is retired. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. The White Sox six, Nationals four. Here's the familiar face of Jim Riggleman. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. Zimmerman in the box. Here's the delivery. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Uh, here in the seventh inning right now, nobody out. This is the time to get things going. You're down two runs. Make up the ground right now. Don't wait. You know, the pressure mounts. Plus, you get late in the game, you're going to see their best reliever coming in. This is the time to do it. And Ryan Zimmerman comes up empty on that swing. Strike three, he's gone. At 86 miles per hour, and as flat as that, pretty dangerous pitch right there. And it's Adam Dunn now. Struck out swinging last time. Here's the first pitch to Dunn. Hit hard on the ground to short. Two away. State Farm brings you a look at the group of arms with the best ERA for the month. The Red Sox number one. White Sox in second. In third, the Twins. Fourth, the Mariners. And at number five, it's the Angels. We take a look at these low ERAs right here. It really points to a philosophy for the organization. Limit the damage. Don't give up the multiple runs in an inning. Give up one, but don't give up a bunch. Here's the pitch. Back up. Throws to first side is retired. In, out of the inning. Six pitches and it's over. And it'll be the White Sox. It's going to be Przinski. Number 12, A.J. Przinski. Here's the pitch. Not in front on that one. Strike one. Eddie Guardado now ahead on the count, 0-2. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. 
Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. Well, you can tell by that approach, he was looking for that fastball. He got it, but still out in front. And Tian swings and misses strike three. Here's the slider coming right at you in K-Camp. Get a better look at that. And as Jim told me in the box now, had a home run back in the fourth inning. And here's the first one. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Eddie Guardado now ahead on the count, 0-2. Swing and a line at a right center. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. Now batting for the well, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. Johnny Damon looking to light things up here right now, Gary. He's gone five for 22 lifetime against Eddie Guardado. First pitch on the way to Damon. Fastball swung out and missed, still in one. Oh, he fooled him right there. That two seam fastball has to be down in the zone to be effective, but it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. Goodbye, a two run homer. Now a four run ball game. They just doubled their lead on that one. Where he drove that hanging slider deep out of the ballpark. Good swing. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Fastball in there for a called strike. This game is not a done deal yet, but boy, when you get those kind of hits this late in a ball game, you're on your way probably to a W. And now the manager's got to start thinking about, okay, my offense has gotten the job done. What's my bull? Swing and a hot shot. And that'll bring up Paul Konerko. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's First season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second in doubles, third most in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. He had a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Here's the pitch. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Conerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. You're fastball out. swung on and missed, and the side's retired. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. The white. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Guillen. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. As he gets up the middle, Jenks. And that'll set down Rodriguez. After the pitch, the pitcher becomes an infielder. Quick reactions allow him to make the play and get the out at first. First pitch on the way. And that swung on and hit Rios. That's the second out of the inning. Dukes at the plate. Blew up last time. Just missed with the fastball. 1-0. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You're, the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ball game. Call fastball. Now the count one and two. Better to go after the fastball when the guy has quality second dip. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Throws on the first in time to retire the side. That's called short work of three. Took six pitches. And a look at Jim Riggleman. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. He delivers, swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. Eddie Guardado now ahead on the count, 0-2. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. That's going to one-hop off the wall. 
He'll hold there at second base, crediting with a double. Now he tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the plate. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead in the count, and then you give up a base hit. Swing and a drive, deep left center. And Willingham's there. Andy Clinton is headed for third. I mean the bat. But Gary, you get a chance to look at this double play and the replay, and this is an outstanding effort to make the catch, get to the bag, and make the throw. That's a rally killer. And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. And he starts Rios out. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Line towards second. From his knees, got him. What a throw. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. A look at the manager, Isaac Gian. He has to be very pleased right now riding this one up. The first pitch. And that's in there. Jenks ahead on one. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. That's hit foul by Harris. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. That one headed into the corner. You're going to try for at least a double. Stops at second. Two back. We talk about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. First pitch to him. Hard grounded to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. And so Morgan retired. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Jenks with a delivery. And that finds the outside corner for strike one. Here's the pitch. And it's 0-2. Christian Guzman, he's going to be swinging at anything close. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. And Ramirez feels the ball. So Guzman is retired. Now down to their final out right here, Gary. So made it looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. Ball. Here's the 1-0 from Jenks. Smash towards the middle. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. And we take a look at our Pepsi Clutch performer delivering the goods for the club today, bringing the bats today, Adam Dunn. Well, sometimes it only takes that one big hit to make a difference in the ballgame, and that's what happened today. This hitter came up with that big clutch one, so he's our obvious choice for this game's Pepsi Clutch performer. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road,